Hey everyone, welcome back to the video. If you are a YouTuber or thinking about starting a faceless YouTube channel, then this video and channel are the perfect fit for you. In this video, we will learn how to create a perfect talking avatar for free using AI. If you search on YouTube, you will find plenty of videos on how to make AI avatars. And trust me, the prompt and the methods I'm about to share in this video are incredibly easy. It's free and you can create an AI avatar just the way you want it. But why a talking avatar? Well, check it out. It comes with a bunch of benefits. For instance, you can use these talking avatars as a cool b-roll footages in your videos. If you can't find the right footage or picture, or if you are unsure how to edit the video at a certain point, you can use AI talking avatars in that spot. This not only speeds your video editing, but also saves you lots of time. But that's not all. These talking avatars make your videos super engaging, leading your audience to watch your video for a long time. Alright, let's not waste any more time and dive right into the video. First, let's create an image for our AI avatar and for that, we will use AI text to image. You need to head over to this website which is playground.com and I will also drop the link in the description for you. Alright, once you are on the website, you need to click on get started and then simply sign up with your Google account. And if you already have an account, you can skip a bit. After that, you simply need to click on create. Then here it will provide you some tutorials that we need to follow. For example, the first tutorial is creating your first image. To complete this tutorial, we need to write a prompt here. Let's go with a sample prompt, a cat wearing sunglasses. After that, simply click on generate. Now our next tutorial is moving around the canvas. To complete this, first press the spacebar on your keyboard. Then hold down the left mouse click and move the mouse around. Alright, now click on next for the next tutorial. And our next tutorial is zooming in. To complete this, hold down to the control button on Windows or the command key on Mac. And then spin the mouse wheel forward. Now click on next and our next tutorial is zooming out. Hold down to the control key on Windows or the command key on Mac. Then spin the mouse wheel backward. Now we will click on next and in this tutorial, simply click on the filters drop down on the left side and choose any filter you like. I'm going with mysterious v4 here and after that you can see the prompt is already written. All we gotta do is hit generate. Okay, now it's generating the image. At this point you will get an alert box saying you have learned the basics. It will ask if you want to learn more. We will simply click on close because we don't want to learn more. And that's it, the training is complete. Now we are all set to generate our animated character. The image we generated with the filter is also ready. And it looks pretty amazing, right? This was all part of the training and skipping it was not an option. I took some extra time to make sure you don't face any issue completing it. Now let's go ahead and delete these two images and generate our animated character. To generate the character in the perfect and right pose, you will need to download these two images. The first image is the depth image and we will use it because we want the color style and textures to be same as in this image. The second image is the pose image and we will use it to help the AI to understand the pose. You will find the download links in the description and feel free to take screenshots as well. Now let's head back to the image generator. Scroll down a bit on the left side and you will find the control traits option. Below that there is the add control button. Click on add control and by default the edge image will be selected. Now you need to choose the depth image here. Then click on upload image to upload the image. And we will upload our first image here which is the depth image. Now set the control weight values to 1. Now again click on add control. This time we will have to choose the pose image option. Then click on upload image and upload the second image which is the pose image. And set the control weight values to 1. Next you will need to check a few settings here. First, head over to the filters section and apply the starlight XL filter. Also make sure that the image dimensions have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio selected. Alright guys, now let's shift our focus to the prompt. As you can see in the prompt, I have highlighted few words here. For instance, if you want a realistic character instead of anime, just type here name of another style like Pixar, 3D or something else. Similarly, if you want to create a girl character, simply replace male with female. And if you want your character to be in t-shirt, just write t-shirt here instead of hoodie. Just like that, if you want your character to be look a bit different, you can make changes in the prompt. You will find this prompt in the description. After that, you simply need to copy this prompt, then head over to the image generator and paste it into the prompt box. Then click on generate. Now our AI character is being generated and here we need to wait a bit. 
Our character is being generated and check out how cool it looks. The pose matches the reference image and the image style is just like the reference image too. Now our character is ready and it's time to download it. But before downloading let's upscale it. Right click on the image and upscale it to 4K. Then simply right click again to download it. It's downloaded and here is our generated character. Moving forward we will dive into the next step. For that simply head over to this website which is photoroom.com. You will find the link in the description too. Now simply upload the character here and mark its mouth using the brush tool. Within just few seconds it will be removed. Make sure to do this with a bit of attention. Once it is done you need to download it. After downloading import the character's image into any video editor and drag and drop it onto the timeline. I am using CapCut but feel free to use any video editor you prefer. Next you need to head over to the YouTube and search for anime mouth green screen. After that pick any video you like. Just make sure its background is green. Then play the video that you find suitable and download it. I like this one so I am gonna downloading it. Once it is downloaded import this video into CapCut and place it onto the timeline. Now the first thing we need to do is remove its background. To do so first we will select this clip then we will click on remove. And in the remove section we are going to use chroma key. We'll click on it and then we will click on this little icon. And then we will select the color we want to remove. Set both values to 100% like this. After that click on basic. Now you need to slightly decrease its scale values. Just enough to make the character's mouth look perfect on its face. Our character is all set and ready to go. Let's play it and see how it looks. I'm also going to share a few more tips to make it even better. Now our character is all set and ready to go. Let's play it and see how it looks. And I'm also going to share a few more tips to make it even better. Now our character is all set. This is how you can create AI talking characters and use them in your videos. And if you are aiming for that extra wow factor, you can apply some CapCut's body effect. To do so first you need to click on effects then click on body effects. For example let's apply this one. Now let's play this video and see how it looks. Now our character is all set and ready to go. Let's play it and see how it looks. Now let's try this one. Now our character is all set and ready to go. Inside CapCut you can find ton of fantastic effects that you can apply to make your character even more awesome. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.